it doesn't get better. I'm gay, and ever since I was performing to Rihanna and Nicki Minaj, or dancing in pink princess dresses, I'm pretty sure my family could always tell that I had a bit of sugar in my tank. <laughs> Throughout primary school, I somehow managed to conceal this, despite my very flamboyant personality. However, when I arrived to secondary school, this all changed. From the way I stood, to the way I spoke, to the way I walked, it was just something I couldn't hide. I remember in year seven, my class visited the library, and we were asked about some books we'd be interested in seeing added, or some books that we already read. Now, you had people asking about Harry Potter, Percy Jackson, Guinness World Record books, just the stuff that every typical 12-year-old boy would be interested in. However, I was no typical 12-year-old boy. I put my hand up to the librarian and said, Miss, do you think we could get, like, any Vogue magazines and stuff? <laughs> now, once I said this, I could kind of hear my classmates laughing at me, and even though I knew there was nothing wrong with what I'd said, I couldn't help but think back to their laughter and wonder what they'd actually found that funny. That day, I went home and decided enough was enough. I was just going to admit it. I'm a friend of Dorothy. <laughs> On my way to form the next day, a boy came up to me and said, Yo, I'm not trying to be like homophobic or anything, but are you gay? And I said to him, yes, I am actually. <laughs> and that was it. I said it. Now, coming out didn't actually make things better for me. If anything, things got worse. People would talk, as usual, but people now felt the need to come up to me and tell me that I had AIDS, or to even try to preach to me. And what the hurt the most is that I wasn't actually doing anything to anyone. I was just being myself. And they made me feel like I had to change myself. I turned to the internet for advice. I would always hear the same thing. It gets better. And the truth is, it never did get better. I got better. Now, don't worry. This isn't going to be a speech about how I somehow miraculously prayed the gay away, but instead about me learning such a valuable lesson. Waiting for it to get better didn't change anything. So why was I wasting my time waiting? I couldn't help it. But what I could help was myself and the way I chose to value myself. To quote RuPaul, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? <laughs> There'll be moments in all of your lives where people might try to change you or make you feel unworthy. And the best piece of advice I could give to every single one of you is that it doesn't get better. You get better.